Hello everyone, my name is Tyler. Welcome to Hand Weights class. Today we're going to be mixing it up a little bit. I've got multiple sets of weights in front of me here. I've got three different sets of three different size weights. I've got my fives in green, eights in maroon, and my tens that are black. Um, please, if you do not have multiple sets of weights, do not worry. Um, you are able to do the normal workout with just one set of weights. This is going to be a little bit different than the normal hand weights class. We're going to be doing everything in strip sets. What strip sets means we're going to do high repetition, low weight, for instance, the five pounds doing 12 repetitions. Then we're going to drop that down to 10 or 8, and we're going to up our weight, and we're going to drop that down again, and we're going to up our weight again. So these are called strip sets. These are going to be a little bit harder, so for that reason, we're not going to do as many exercise moves per muscle, um, but we're going, to, we're going to be working those muscles extra hard today on our strip sets. Um, so if you only have, again, one set of weights, please just follow along as best you can with the one set of weights, and you're still going to get a really good workout in. So let's start with our warm-up. Let's get those legs moving. Let's get warmed up. Bigger steps, a little bit slower. March out a little faster again. Bigger steps, a little bit slower. Speed up again one more time. Excellent. And break for a second. Sit farther forward in your chair. And we are going to do some step outs. This will be a normal march. And then we're going to march wide and come back together. And march wide and back together. Keep moving. And wide. Hold it for a couple seconds. Activate those hips. Come back together. Go again. Wide. And back together. One more time. Open up wide. Hold it out here. Activate those hips. And back together. Excellent. And break. Sit up tall, chest up, shoulders back. Make sure your back is off, off the backrest of the chair. Lifting up on your toes, activating your calf muscles. Let's do five more. There's three, two, one. Excellent. Break here for a second. Take a couple deep breaths. Make sure you're feeling good and that your legs are getting nice and warmed up. If you need any extended breaks during this, please hit pause. Take a break for a couple minutes. Whatever you need, get yourself a drink of water and then hit play and continue. I've always got my trusty bottle of water next to me. Um, that goes everywhere, everywhere with me so I keep hydrated during my workouts. It's very important. So if you need yourself, um, a cup of water, bottle of water, whatever you need, hit pause, get whatever you need, and then come back and we can continue. Let's do our lower back stretch. Open up your legs, so you have plenty down to the ground, arms up in the air, nice deep breath in, come down to the ground as low as you can go. If you come all the way up down to the ground, fantastic. If this is too difficult for you, maybe it's painful, go ahead and rest your elbows on your knees, take some deep breaths. And then if you can, try to get all the way down to the ground. Come 
Roll back up nice and slow. Good work. Legs back together. Sitting up nice and tall. Chest up, shoulders back. Let's stretch our middle and upper back. One hand leg, one hand around back of the chair. Turning as far as you can. Excellent. Turn the other direction. One hand leg, one hand around back of the chair. Turning as far as you can. Try not to turn too far. Try to also keep your hips straight and in line. Just turning at your torso. Excellent. Back to center. Let's do our shoulders. So arms off to the side. Let's do our shoulder circles. Excuse me, arm circles. Shoulder circles next. In another direction. Down. Now let's do our shoulder circles. In the other direction. If you hear any pops and cracks, that's okay. As long as they're not painful, if they are painful, go slower, take your time more. If it still is hurting you when doing this, please take a break from this move or do whatever you can to make sure that pain is not present when doing these shoulder circles. Go ahead and relax. Excellent. Hope you're feeling warmed up and you're feeling good. Let's start our strip sets. We're going to start our legs and work the way up the body. Again, like I said, we're going to do, we're going to be doing less exercises per muscle group, but it's going to be a little bit harder than before with these strip sets if you have multiple sets of weights. So start with your lightest set of weights, start on the legs, and we're going to start with our single leg march. One leg at a time, don't let your foot touch the ground. If you want to, you can take your weights and double them up. I would suggest for these, especially with the strip sets, that you keep the weights separated, um, and that way you can do both sides at a time, or not at the same time, but then you can switch over quickly without having to transfer both weights over and such. So let's start with our single leg march. One leg at a time, don't let your foot touch the ground. We're going to do 10. 12 repetitions. There's 10, 11, 12, switch. There's 9, 10, 11, 12. Excellent. Set the weights down. Grab your next set. Place them on your legs, single leg, march again. We're going to do 10 of them this time. Don't let your foot touch the ground. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and switch. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Set down those weights again. Grab your heaviest set. Single leg march again. This time we're going to do eight of them. Go ahead and start. Don't let your foot touch the ground. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, and switch. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Good work. Now, if you only have one set of weights, just keep repeating with the same set of weights. You're still going to get a great workout. You're still going to be tired by the time we're done. We're going to move to our calf raises now. Uh, we're going to start with our heaviest sets since they're here. And we're going to work our way down. So we're going to go backwards on our calf raises. If you'd like to, go ahead and double up your weights. We're going to do one leg at a time. We're going to start with eight here on the heaviest set. Going all the way back up to 12 repetitions with our lightest set. So go ahead and start, lift up on your toes, activate the calf muscle, hold up in the air for a second, come down. Five, 
six, seven, eight. Let's keep going. I think you can do more. Let's go for 12. Let's keep going. There's 12. Good. Switch. If you're doubling up your weight, switch sides. If not, just go ahead and switch legs. Calf muscles are pretty strong, so we're going to beat them up today. There's 10, 11, 12. Excellent. Sit down your weights. Now, because we did 12 of the heaviest weights, we need to go do 15 and all the way up to, let's go for 18 for our lightest set. We're going to really pump out those calf raises. So again, if you want to double up your weights, go ahead and double up, starting on the leg that you started with. So we're going 15 repetitions. Go for it. Hold up for about a second. Come down. We have five more. There's five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Both weights. Transfer over if you're doubling up. If not, go ahead and just switch legs. Get started again. We got five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Set down your weights. Go to your lightest set of weights. Again, if you want to double up your weights, go ahead and double up. And we're going to get started with our cappers again. This time we're doing 18 of them. You got this. Almost there. There's three more. Three, two, one. Excellent. If you have both legs, transfer over. If not, switch legs and go ahead and repeat. Three more. Three. Two, one. Excellent. Great work. Separate the weights. Keep them on legs. We gotta do a little bit of hip work. This time we're gonna start with ten and go down to six repetitions with our highest, strongest weights. Sitting forward in your chair, chest up, shoulders back, one leg at a time, lift up, rotate, place, bring it back, and switch. There's two and two. Go for ten of them. Halfway there. Two more. And ten. And last one on this side, two. Excellent, good. Go ahead and set down your weights. Grab your next heaviest set. We gotta do eight per side now. Here we go. Halfway there. Two more, you got this. Seven, seven, eight, and eight. Excellent, set those weights down. Grab your heaviest set of weights. We got six per side we gotta do now. Same exact movement. Keep going, lift up, rotate, down, and bring it back.
halfway there. Just four, four, five, five, six, and six. Excellent. Good work. Set down your heaviest weights. We're going to do our back and shoulders next. Take a break here for a second. Get yourself a drink of water if you need one. And then we're going to start up in just a couple seconds. All right, so we're going to do a back move, a shoulder move, a back move, and a shoulder move. And then we're going to go to our biceps and triceps. And if we have time, we'll also do a chest move. And that's going to be your workout for today. So you're already halfway done. The legs are done. We're moving up the body. Start with the lightest weights. Sit forward in your chair. And we are going to start with our back. So feet fairly close together, no wider than hip width for sure. Um, if anything, bring them even closer than hip width. Weights are going to go on the outside of knees, palm facing towards your knees. Chest up, shoulder back, keep the back straight. Pull back, elbows close to the body. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and come down. We're going to do 12 of them. Three more. Three, two, one. Excellent. Set down those weights. Grab your next heaviest set. Same movement again. Weights down, palm face towards knees. Pull back, squeeze. We're going 10. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Seven, eight, nine, and excellent, set down the weights. Grab your next heaviest set. Now, if I'm moving a bit too quickly for you, please hit pause on the video. Continue your repetitions. When you're done, go ahead and hit play. We've got eight of them to do now, so same movement one more time. Hinge forward at the hips, shoulders back, and back straight. Arms on the side, palms facing towards legs. Pull back, keep elbows close. Eight of them. Squeeze shoulder blades. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Set the weights down. Whew. Great work. Now we got to go to our shoulder. Shoulder move number one. We're going to do our overhead press. Go ahead and take the weights. Up on the shoulders, palms facing towards your head. Press up, bring them together to the top. We're doing 10 of them. You got three more. Three, two, one. Excellent. Set them down. Next, have you set. Weights up. Press up. Eight of them. You got this. Six, seven, eight. Excellent. Relax down. You're doing great. Should feel those shoulders burning a little bit. Grab your heaviest set. We got six of them. Weights up on the shoulders, palms facing towards the head. Press up. Three, four, five, and six. Excellent, good work. Set the weights down on the ground. Take a break here for a second. You're doing fantastic. We got one more back move, one more shoulder move, and then we can switch to different muscle groups. So let's grab our lightest weights again. Let's just use one weight. You only need one. We're going to do our lawn mowers. Open up the legs, resting your forearm on the knee, the hand without the weight. Other weight's going to come down, excuse me, arm with the weight's going to come down to the ground. Keeping your back straight, shoulders back in place. Try not to move your upper body, keep it in one place. Pulling back, keeping the elbow close to the body. Squeezing your back and shoulder blades, coming back down. Just like you're starting a lawn mower. 
Please keep it slow and controlled. Don't jerk back real quickly. We're going to do 12. Two more. And last one. Excellent. Switch arms. Same thing. Weight down to the ground. Pull up. Same movement. You got this. Halfway there. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Excellent. Up your weight, next heaviest. Start with the arm that you started with. Don't want to repeat the same arm over that you just finished with. So resting forearm on the knee, weight down to the ground, exact same movement, just a little heavier now. We're doing 10 of them. Excellent, go ahead and switch sides. Repeat, 10. It's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Excellent, good work. One more time, up your weights, heaviest weight. Rest your forearm on your knee, weight down to the ground, pull up. We're going eight, six of them. No, eight of them. <laughs> it's six, seven, eight. Excellent. Switch sides. Same thing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Good work. Take a break here for a second. Well done. We got one more shoulder move to do. Five set, tricep, maybe a chest, and you're going to be done. You're so close. You're doing fantastic. Keep up the good work. Let's do our shoulders. Now, on this shoulder move, because it's difficult, if you'd like to stick with one set of weights the whole time, please do, because this is going to be a difficult one. We're going to do our abductions. We're going to do eight, six, and then four of our heaviest, because this I don't want you to hurt yourself or overwork yourself. Arms on the side, palms facing towards the chair, lifting up even with shoulders, and come back down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Switch your weights. Next heaviest set. Arms on the side, palms facing towards the chair. Six of them. It's four, five, six. Excellent, relax. If your arms are starting to hurt, shoulders are starting to hurt, take a break, shake out your arms, hit pause, loosen up, do some shoulder circles, keep everything nice and loose, and when you feel good and ready, hit play again and continue. Grab your heaviest set of weights, we got four of them. Arms on the side, palms facing towards the chair. Two, three, and four. Excellent, good work. Set the weights down. Good job. I know I'm feeling that by the shoulders, that's for sure. Well done. Let's do a bicep and tricep move, and then we'll see kind of how time's going. If we can fit a chest movement today, if not, we're going to get to our stretching. So for one bicep and one tricep move, we are going to do our strip sets again on normal bicep curls. Nothing crazy this time, nothing out of the ordinary, because I don't want to overwork you. So let's keep normal bicep curls for this one. Uh, when we do do this again, and we do another video of strip sets, I will be sure to do something a little more difficult. But for now, normal bicep curls. Arms at the side, palms in front of you. Upper arm still, chest up, shoulders back in place, curl up. Let's do 12 of them. Halfway there. 
We have four more. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Set them down. Grab your next heaviest set. Arms down the side, same thing. This time we're doing 10 of them. Then keep that upper arm still as possible, just flexing the elbow. There's three, two, one. Excellent, set the weights down. We're gonna up our weights one more time, heaviest set. We got eight of them. When you feel good and ready, arms on the side, palms facing towards the chair, and go for it. Keep that upper arm still. There's seven and eight. Excellent. Set the waist down for a second. Take a quick break. If you need a drink of water, always feel free to get yourself a drink of water. We got our one tricep move, so go ahead and take your lightest weight, turning to one side of the chair. You gotta keep your arms straight and press straight back, or lean forward, bring the elbow up, and kick back. Choose the modification feels best for you. We're gonna do 12, 10, eight on these ones. So elbow up or arm straight and kick back. Halfway there. There's 11, 12. Excellent. Switch sides. Same thing. Again, keeping that arm straight. Bring the elbow up and kick back. There's eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Good work. Grab the next heaviest set, turn again to the other side. We got 10 of them. Arm straight, or bring the elbow up and lean forward a little bit. Go ahead and start working. There's 9, Ten. Good. Switch sides. Same thing. Other side. Arm straight or bring the elbow up and kick back. Go ahead and start working. Just eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Set your weight down. One more time. Heaviest weight. Turn to the side that you started on again. We've got eight of them this time. So arm straight or bring the elbow up and kick back. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Switch sides. Last time on triceps. Arm straight or bring the elbow up and kick back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Set the weights down for today. As you can see, we're running out of time here. Um, I'm trying to keep it about half an hour, 35 minutes max. Um, so for today, we're going to skip the chest move. Uh, but next time, we're going to include some chest work in our chair. So let's get into our stretching and cool down. Great job everyone, you've worked very, very hard today on these strip sets. Let's stretch and cool down. Sit as far forward as you can in the chair, lean against the backrest, take one leg, pull it into your chest. Take some deep breaths, try to really relax, bring the heart rate back down a little bit. Excellent. Relax the left leg. Other leg, pull it into your chest.
Good, and relax down. Let's do our hamstring calf stretch. Heel on the ground, pull the toes back towards you, hinge at the hips, and lean forward. Make sure everything we do for stretching is completely pain-free. Take some deep breaths, relax. In this position you're in now, point the toes away from you. That's going to eliminate your calf stretch a little more and focus more on your hamstring on the upper back portion of your leg. Keep breathing, try to relax. Excellent, bring the leg back, switch sides, heel on the ground, pull the toes back towards you, hinge your hips forward, lean forward. Keep breathing, hold this position. Excellent. Keep leaning forward. Point the toes away from you again. Eliminate your calf stretch a little bit. Focus more on your hamstrings. Excellent. And sit back up. Let's do our hip stretch. Again, a reminder on the modifications. You can either do a complete figure four stretch, placing your foot on top of the opposite knee, or you can modify by going knee over knee and leaning forward, or you can just cross your ankles, pull back, and lean forward, all of which you're going to feel some form of stretch. Please feel the, please use the modification that is uh, best for you, so that way you feel the best stretch with the least amount of pain possible. Now in this figure four position I'm in now, the complete position, if you want more of a stretch, go ahead and lean forward, get as much stretch as you can. Keep breathing, make sure you're relaxing. Excellent, let's switch sides. Same thing, choose the modification of the three that is most comfortable for you. Sometimes one leg's a little more flexible than the other. Maybe you've had a hip replacement or a hip pain on one side you have to modify. Please choose the modification that feels best for you. You don't have to use the same modification on both sides. You can switch it up, that's perfectly fine. Okay, go ahead and relax down. Let's go to our upper body. Arm out in front, bring it across the body, hug it in. Stretching our shoulder and back. Excellent, switch sides, same thing. Arm out in front, cross the body, hug it in. Excellent, relax now. Let's do our bicep, tri the bicep and forearm stretch. Then we'll move to our tricep stretch. Palm to the ceiling. Hold down on your fingertips. Hold it here. If you need more of a stretch, raise your arm up in the air just a little bit. Excellent, switch sides, same thing. Palm to the ceiling. Pull down the fingertips. If you need more of a stretch, raise it up in the air. Keep breathing, keep relaxing. You work really, really hard today, so well done. Excellent, relax now. Let's do our tricep stretch. Same arm over same shoulder. Pushing or pulling overhead on the elbow to stretch out our tricep on the back portion of our upper arm. Excellent, relax down. Get the same arm over the same shoulder, pushing or pulling on the elbow. Take some deep breaths, relax. Excellent, relax the arm down. One more stretch, open up the legs as far as you can. Arms up in the air, lower back one more time. Come down to the ground as low as you can go. If this is an uncomfortable move for you, go ahead and rest your elbows 
on your knees so you don't go down as low as you can. Come all the way down to the ground. Take some deep breaths and relax. Excellent. Roll back up nice and slow. Well done. You've completed Handways class. Thank you for participating. Please check out all of our other, other videos done by myself and Savannah. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Stay healthy. Stay safe.